Okay, so this is Big Red Racing, uh, a game which I really struggled to run back in the day on my computer at the time, and it actually runs really well on the Raspberry Pi. This is using the Raspberry Pi DOS emulator Dosbian, and it is amazing. Uh, I can't believe how easy it is to set up, but I'll show you exactly uh, the steps that I did, and I'm gonna use my Pi to do all the steps. So I'm not gonna use a Windows computer or a Mac. I figure in this instance, I'm gonna use my Pi to do absolutely everything uh, to get the installation up and running. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at the game running, uh, just because it, it would be rude not to. Uh, You see the menus are super quick. And it handles really well. I love the cameras on this. Uh, it was, I just remember playing it at the lowest resolution possible and it ran terribly for me. And actually I'm playing it now and it's lovely and smooth and uh, the sound is fine. It is amazing. Right, so let's quit out of this and launch Raspberry Pi OS because that's what's going to do all the work to do all the installation and everything. Okay, so first things first, go to the Dospian website and uh, this is an amazing website uh, or a blog created by Carmelo Maiolino and uh, if you click on the Dospian folder and then scroll down, obviously have a read here, there is a way to donate as well um, and you're looking for the download file which is just here underneath the PayPal bit. So click on that and you'll download it and that will download to your downloads folder. Uh, and it's quite a big download, so I've downloaded it already. Uh, so if we go to our downloads, you'll find that you can't actually unarchive it because uh, seven zips aren't recognized within Raspbian, but you can install, there's two things you need to install from the store. Now if you already have Raspberry Pi Imager that's great because you'll need that to write the image to your SD card uh, but if we go to preferences and add remove software do a search for Imager first and then you need to scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see that the last uh, or near the end there are Raspberry Pi Imager. Tick both of those hit apply and hit OK uh, and that will install those but also do a search for 7-zip and you'll find that there is a, a free unarchiver. So I clicked on this one, 7-zip-r, uh, and that it allows you to unzip this Dospian uh, file. So again, tick it, click apply, click OK, and that will install to your Pi. So then if you right click on here and go archiver, and then you can extract it. Now all I did was I dragged this to my desktop. I've already got one on my desktop so I'm not going to do that but basically it unzips and then you're left with an image which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. We don't need this 7-zip file anymore so we can move it to the trash because we don't want to fill up our pie with things we don't need. So let's close that down and let's go to accessories and imager. Now you need to choose your OS which is custom. Then we need to click on Pi and in my case desktop because my Dosbian file is on the desktop and click on that and that will select that file to be written to my SD card. I haven't put my SD card in yet so pop your SD card into a USB adapter and then put it into one of the USB sockets on your Pi. Hit cancel on that notification. Choose your SD card. Obviously make sure you're not using your uh, operating system SD card to, to write this to. Uh, this is the one I've just inserted. So click on that and hit write. Then you need to put your password in. If you haven't changed anything, it's Pi and then Raspberry. And then that will start to write the image to your SD card. So while it's doing that, you can make use uh, and multitask. Let's go to dosgames.com where there are loads of demos of DOS games. Um, and these are obviously very old, uh, some great games in here. Uh, now the one I had in my intro was Big Red Racing. So if I type out racing, you can see Big Red Racing comes up. So we need to download that game. And then let's get another game. Uh, and this is another demo, which is Theme Hospital. Click on that and download that game. 
these are tiny little downloads look 12 megabytes uh, I didn't see what the other one was but it's very small you can also while you're there you can hit uh, random game and you can let it try and suggest a game for you to try star rack uh, and then you get some options down the bottom here where you can see that star mines looks interesting oh, in fact I think I've downloaded that separately uh, it's like a sort of thrust game um, but uh, but yeah just download what you want to see in Dospian. So now that's done, I can, yeah, close down all of this, so let's just minimize it for now. So let's navigate to those downloads. Here we go, so Big Red, let's double click on that and extract files, and let's extract it to the desktop. Hit open and extract and that's nice because that's come up in a folder let's close that down let's do the same for theme hospital extract files let's go to the desktop open and extract Raspberry Pi OS is, is just lovely and fast to use it's so simple as well uh, right, let's close that down. I can delete those zip files if I want to, but I won't bother for the purpose of this. So now I would say it's good to change the name of your folder. And that's because when you're navigating to it, if the if it's too long, uh, it's, it's just more to type in. And also DOS only recognizes a certain amount of characters, and I can't remember what how many characters it is. So I'm going to keep it really conservative and go for HOSPI. So big red and HOSPI. So the image is still writing, it's just verifying it now. I need to wait for that to finish uh, before I do the next step. And while it's doing that, let's have a look at this blog. There are loads of tutorials on here, by the way, and I started to read this quick start guide. And the only reason I, I stopped reading it, because it was talking about SSHing into your Pi. I thought a lot of people only have the Pi as their main computer, so I figured I'd do the whole lot on the Pi uh, and just try and keep it as simple as possible, uh, and I didn't want to bother with uh, having to use another computer to control it or anything like that. I just want to keep it super simple. But there's some great guides there. Uh, there's a Facebook group uh, for Dospian as well, and people are posting sort of pictures of games they've been getting to work and playing. Just really interesting project uh, and great, great work. Right, so let's minimize that, we're nearly there. Okay, so that's finished now, so I can hit continue and I can close that down. And it says I can remove the card, uh, so let's take out my card and a little USB adapter and pop it back in again, because we haven't finished with it yet. Oh no, it's hit cancel on that. Uh, so what we want to do now is open up rootfs uh, and then home, pi, Dospian games and you'll see there's two games that come with it already Doom and Wolfenstein 3D so let's drag down over Big Red Racing and Theme Hospital and drag them into that folder there you go that's done that's all you need to do so at this point if you want to overclock to get better performance for your Pi you need to have a fan uh, to, for some sort of active cooling if you're not using a fan on your Pi don't overclock, just leave it as it is. It will run most games fine. But I wonder what Big Red Racing will work at like without the overclock. So I think I'm going to overclock mine. So double click on the boot, uh, double click on the config.txt. And this is basically a file that gives you all sorts of information for your Pi booting up. Okay, so I've put these three lines in. So over underscore voltage equals six. This is to increase the voltage to the Pi to allow you to overclock which will generate more heat, so this is what you need the extra cooling for. Uh, the arm frequency, I'm going right up from 1500 megahertz up to 2147, which is as fast as you normally can go with the Pi. You can go higher with custom firmware. Uh, and the GPU frequency, uh, which is the graphics, 750. So that's overclocked, I think it's normally 600. So let's save that. And then we can close that down and now we can safely eject so if we click on the eject 
click on the storage and that's ejected the storage. So now what I need to do is unplug my USB with the SD card in it, take the SD card out, shut down the Pi and then reboot it with this newly created Dospian SD card. Okay, so this is how it looks like on first boot. Everything's black at the moment. Here we go, please wait, Dospian is being booted. And that's it. So what we can do now, there's various different things you can do on this. If you type exit, it will take you back to like a main menu. Um, but we don't, for the purpose of this at this stage, uh, I'm not gonna bother going through anything else on here because all we need to do is just start normally. So I'm gonna press, uh, press one uh, and press enter and that will get us back to where we were before. And let's go CD space games and then DIR to see what's in there. And you can see here, I've got the two that were already there, which is Doom and Wolfenstein 3D, uh, and then my two new ones, Big Red and Hospi. Now, the hospital one is very straightforward. All I've got to do with that is put CD, HOSPI, and return. And then if I have a look, I'm looking for an EXE file in there. So if I put DIR to see what's in there, uh, and if you can see, uh, well, you can see hospital is already there. So all I need to do is type in hospital and it will launch. Sometimes you get too many files uh, and I think Big Red Racing will show that, so I'll show that. So let's just type in hospital and hit return. And it even shows the CD, which is cool. So press the key to begin. And as you can see, it's working fine. And it launches into the game. We need to put a reception desk down. We need to buy that, purchase, and let's pop that here near the front doors. Then we've got to hire a receptionist. And you can flick through and you can see that arrogant and cocky, that sounds like a good uh, receptionist. Uh, dog lover, remarkably polite in general manner, enjoys fart serving. <laughs> what? Yeah, that is right. Good natured and very hard working. Well, and obviously there's all amounts here and everything, but you want to keep your uh, patients happy, uh, so you would hire one. So let's go with rubbish at the job, a possible liability. That sounds excellent. Right, so let's pop her at the desk. And so that's Theme Hospital. Let's quit out of that. Okay, so I didn't know how to quit out the game, uh, but I wanted to change the audio because I wanted to leave uh, Big Red Racing's audio on and I didn't want it to swamp out what I was saying. Uh, so I've restarted. If someone could kindly let me know in the comments uh, how you quit out of Theme Hospital and go back to that menu. I did Control alt and F4 uh, and it just it quit right out, so I had to restart it. So let's go uh, DIR, so CD games and then DIR, and then CD, big red, and then DIR, is this the one with loads in? Yeah, so if we look down here, you can see that there isn't any, actually there is a set sound EXE, but there's not an EXE file that will launch the game. So for this, and I remember back to my DOS days, DIR dot forward slash P, this does it page at a time, because it scrolls fast, it scrolls too fast for you to be able to see. And I'm looking down here and I'm looking for EXE files, so there's nothing on that page. So I press return and I get another page. And I know from before that, I well, what I did before was typed in DOS4GW and then install. So DOS4GW and then uh, I did install. I don't know if you need the DOS bit, I'm sure you don't. Uh, so directory for big red i'm okay for it to go there hit okay and then hit return select and configure digital audio driver hit hit return hit return again on sound blaster uh, attempt to configure automatically and it's detected oh, this takes so much less time and as you can see now it says type in racing to play so racing and return 
Here we are. Uh, so now I can, if I click on the mouse, I then get the control of this mouse. So one player, single race. Get the lid out! <laughs> and let's just skip through these. Actually, I can probably what are you waiting for, just, just choose somewhere different than the other race. Oh, yeah. And let's pick... Oh, I'm, on, I'm in boats. Oh, I think that looks more me. Right, so, okay, and race. Five, four, and I'm just using three, the cursors for this. Two, one. Go, y'all! There we go. It's just, I, I really like the handling of this, and yes, the graphics are pretty poor, but it's a 3D environment. It's running really quite well. It's a great game. One star review. Uh, so, oh, it's a bit narrow here, that. Oh, how can they come? I think there might be a boost. I can't remember. I haven't played it for so long. Watch out for the sticks. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so let's. I'm just going to re relax here for a bit. Uh, so let's hit exit, escape rather, uh, escape again, and keep pressing escape. Oh yeah, so that gets us out. Now if I type in exit and return. Okay, so I think that was great. Uh, it's a great product. I haven't really played around with it enough. I did see there's launch box in there, which is an easier way to launch your games if you don't like doing it in the normal way. Um, but uh, and you can choose see it's got six seven eight you can choose various different ways of launching so enhanced community edition I don't know what that is actually so if I now press one and return yeah so it's a slightly different version so DIR and then you can have a look and you can go through and uh, see what you want to add what you want to play with but uh, I hope this helps as a basic tutorial uh, I'm gonna play a lot more of this and, and experiment with it okay thanks very much for watching Please like and subscribe.